Welcome to the roof of the place I'm staying. Storage. Notice it's open air. Because they don't worry about getting little things like rain. And this is a special carpet as it gets not one, but four chairs. Those line. Stuff dries very quickly here, I'd imagine. Some poor dude's bed. Hygiene. Yes. Extra chair. This is where the magic happens. This is the kitchen in here. Refrigerator. Locked cupboard. Ooh, I'm curious. Tea making device. Hygiene. Hygiene. Anyway, I was told to be up here at 6 for a free cup of tea. Apparently, they didn't tell anybody else. Could be a, one of those things where a helicopter comes by and shoots me. I don't know. More storage. Small teacups. Obviously, now plan not stick around for the free cup of tea. If I want to buy tea, it costs one British pound, or sorry, not one British pound, woo, one Egyptian pound. And that's like, uh, 20 cents. So, fuck it. 20 cents. Anyway, over here, bathroom. Big bowl thing. For those of you who haven't gotten to see one before, Toilet. Feet go here and here. Oh yeah, my new pants. I'm going native, quick. I'm not sure where the shower part is. I'm guessing it's this attractive plastic hose. They got a lot of room here, I'll give them that. This is the part that the guests normally go see. These are the stairs down. As I discovered this morning, they're fucking slip, slippery, and uneven, and badly patched. Almost fucking broke my leg. Good times. So watch your ass going up and down the stairs. Sunset tea with a cake from 1800 till sunset. It is free. We hope our customers enjoy it. Well, I might if anybody else was to show up. Apparently I'm the only one. Who did? A little bit of half hearted plants going on here. It's where the people normally get to sit, as you can tell by dirty dishes left out. Yum, yum. It's a very laid back country, very relaxed. But if I can get free tea out of it, I'm always into free tea sit here and drink four or five cups and then get dysentery and die. Another table over here, a little bit of the Arabic seating. Over there we've got the Western seating. Arabic, Western, Arabic, okay you get it. Another table here. I stole one of these tables, actually I had them steal for me and bring them downstairs. And out here is the city. We're on the fifth floor. So we're higher than everybody else. I'm going to zoom in and just take a quick panoramic. Actually, I'll give you a, a panoramic without zooming in first. All the horn honking and stuff like that you're hearing, I found out that usually people saying hello to each other. They're friendly and they don't get that when you honk it may make other people think you're going to kill them. So this is the city I'm in right now. Down there. This is the guy's bed. He was actually sleeping in it for most of the day, but now that it's cooling off, he's buggered off. And let me zoom out a little. This is an example of the rooftop across the way. Rubble. But you notice how many satellite dishes, even in a country like this, everybody has got to have their motherfucking TV. Yeah. Even if they live here. They've got to have their fucking TV.
Big zoom. This is the city. This is Luxor, Egypt. You are not here. When I was a kid, they used to have the you are there videos and stuff, try to teach us history and shit. Yeah. You're not motherfucking here, I know. It's not, it's not bad. I'm kind of liking it. It's, it's got a quirky atmosphere. And I've got to get out and explore it yet. So far all I've done is managed to get some uh, pants. Which honestly were... They look like kind of things I used to get at Nero by like amateurs who didn't do a lot of fucking sewing. Actually some of the ones at Nero better quality than this, but good material. It just makes it look like I have enough room for an enormous raging hard on in my pants. And I hope one day to have one that big. I'll require a lot of fucking drugs and miracles of medicine. So, anyway, signing off, hoping to get a raging hard on. Logan from Luxor, Egypt.